What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button and the little bell no notification below so that you get notified when I upload new videos. It's been a while since my last video and I figured it was time for me to probably make another one for you guys. My last few videos may be of interest to you and they were about my staccatos, so be sure to check those out. I'll leave links for those in the corners here, so be sure to check those out. Today I'm gonna to be talking about my Core Essentials gun belts. Before we jump into the review, I want to just give a shout out to Core Essentials for actually sending out one of the belts that I'll be reviewing today. I'll be sure to distinguish which one they sent to me and which one I purchased with my own money. Also, both of the belts that I'll be reviewing today, I'll have Amazon affiliate links down in the description below, so be sure to check those out. And keep in mind, I do receive a small cut from the sales that are made through those links. So everything that you purchase through those links uh, goes back to support the channel, uh, helps me bring content out for you guys in the future. To give you guys a little bit of background on why I chose Core Essentials, initially I saw the belts on Talon Sai's videos, and as most of you know, I'm a big fan of Talon Sai. I love watching his channel. He has great reviews on a lot of different products, and Core Essentials was actually one of them. So after watching his video, I decided to do a little bit more research on these belts, and eventually just bought one myself. I wanted to try one of the leather ones at first, as it looked like something that I could use in multiple settings, whether that be at work with a shirt tucked in or EDC belt uh, where it's underneath my t-shirt or jacket or something like that. I just wanted a belt that would kind of cover a lot of my bases. So that's why I purchased this one. As we go through this review, I'll be giving you mostly my opinion on what I think of these belts and just my general experience with them as I've run the one for literally a year and a half and the other one I've had for only a month or two. I'll also give you a brief demo on how to resize and fit the buckle onto the belt itself. One of the first things you need to consider when you're potentially going to carry a gun inside the waistband, and that is definitely a good sturdy belt. I've seen countless times where, I've seen multiple times where people are carrying their firearm inside the waistband and they're not wearing a belt that's adequate enough to support the weight of a holster, the gun, loaded mags, etc., etc. When you consider carrying your firearm and holster inside the waistband, just make sure you have a sturdy belt. Probably, if you're to take away anything from this video, take that piece of advice. The first belt that I'll be reviewing today is the X4 buckle with the black leather belt. As you can see here, it's pretty simple, nothing special about it. It's actually kind of plain, but I have reviewed this belt somewhat in the past, and I'll link that video right here, up here in the corner. And as you can tell from this belt um, right there, you can see that it, there's a little bit of wear on that buckle. Um, I've actually, this is the one that I purchased with my own money that I've had for nearly two years now, and I have put it through its paces and put it in kind of all kinds of different scenarios, not just carrying at work or carrying somewhere where, you know, it's, you know, not super duty use type stuff, but I have EDC'd this belt for pretty much those two years. I've worn this belt specifically with casual pants, dress pants, I've worn it to weddings, I've worn it to church and a lot of other places that you, you know, this would potentially look good. And, um, you know, I've had it for a lot of other I've used it for a lot of other things, uh, especially if I'm going to the range. I actually just wear this uh, sometimes if I'm not running outside the waistband drills. If it's you know concealment drills, then I'll wear something that's pretty sturdy like this. And also, because this belt, the X4 and the black leather belt is so old, they have come out with other iterations of the Core Essentials EDC belt line. They now have 2.0 versions that are a little bit different and I'll talk about that in a second. Um, but just to keep in mind, the, the big difference that you're going to see is just how you attach the buckle to the belt. And I'll go more into that when I give you the demonstration. What makes these belts so sturdy is the power core interior inside the belt that they, they line it with. Um, honestly, as I've had this and 
as I've kind of misplaced it or left it out on the floor or something like that, I've stepped on it and pretty much, you know, almost killed myself because of how sturdy and stiff these are. So you can see that there's hardly any sagging, if at all. Like typically when you use a leather belt or so, you're gonna get like a huge, you know, dip in the actual belt itself. And with this, you don't really get that. Maybe slightly, but it's not super pronounced. Um, one thing that you do notice here, and I'll try to get that in the light, is see, see the little ripples on there? That's probably where you get a little bit of bending and warping, but honestly, for two, wearing this every day for two years, I'm not even worried about sagging because this freaking thing has almost uh, murdered me. And what's really cool is that on Core Essentials website, you can actually go on and choose the belt and choose the buckle. So it's highly customizable, very cool way to kind of build your own belt. Um, they have other uh, types of belts and I'll talk about this one in a moment, but it's the tactical belt, which um, instead of four pounds that this one can hold, this one holds up to I think eight pounds is what they advertise on their website. Um, it's a lot sturdier, um, more tactical looking because it has kind of that nylon uh, fabric, I guess. Um, sorry for if you can't really see that super well, but if you can kind of make out the texture there, um, it's it's kind of like that. But yeah, so it's definitely different, um, and I'll talk about this one in a moment. But like I was saying, with these belts, you can customize them fairly easily, and uh, honestly, I, it's kind of the way to go. Um, they have multiple belt buckles. Uh, multiple types of, of belt materials, um, multiple occasions that they kind of uh, present these for, and you know it's, they make it super easy to kind of create your own. But what's really cool about their customizing you know, portion of their website is that you have a guide on there of all the belt buckles that they have, and they range anywhere from X1 to X8 is how they kind of name them. Uh, and I'll kind of go through that here. What's really cool about Core Essentials belts and kind of what sets them apart is their buckling system. It's not your traditional belt where you put your belt through the buckle and then kind of, you know, engage the thing with the hole. That's what she said. Um, it's what they call their track line and as you can see here it looks kind of like a track so let me do this for you um, so yeah you see kind of how it looks like a track there um, that's what engages with this little this little uh, tooth right here and then this allows you to slide the belt kind of like this and that little tooth catches on those little track there and this little tooth follows this little track here and then you just size it accordingly and then to pull it apart you just pull this little tab there pull that upward and then slide your belt out Simple as that. So I think it's pretty intuitive. Um, I think it's really nice because it's really easy to put on, take off. Um, and if it's sized correctly, you have nothing to worry about. The belt that Core Essentials sent out to me is their X6 buckle and then their tactical nylon belt, which as I stated earlier, can hold up to about eight pounds. Um, and that's based on you know, just how you when you have it contoured to your body and then you put your holster on, it should be able to hold eight pounds without, you know, you know, distorting a little bit. Um, I did notice that with the other belt, because it's a little bit more formal looking, um, I mean, you're probably not going to have anything too crazy on it. Although I have run a QVO wingman with a staccato C2, uh, full mag, extra mag, and honestly, I didn't have any issues with that. Um, so the the weights, the weight limits that they put on their website are don't really mean much to me, um, just because I 
you know, I load the thing out and I just tighten it up enough to where it won't sag my pants. You kind of adapt when you wear an EDC belt like this and you carry a firearm inside the waistband. Um, you just kind of adapt to, to the challenges, I guess, of carrying that way. Um, yeah, so weight doesn't really mean a whole lot to me. So just keep that in mind when you're looking at that. Um, I, I will say though that this belt is significantly sturdier than, than the other one. I mean, it's when you try to squeeze it, I mean, you can't even bend the thing. I'm trying to like bend inside of it a little bit and it's not, it's not moving. I mean, it'll bend this way of course, but it won't bend long ways. Whereas this one, I can kind of do it, but not really. I mean, so it's something you really don't have to worry about. So as I stated with my X4 buckle and the black leather belt, the tactical belt that I have here uh, has pretty much, I mean, been kind of the workhorse uh, since, you know, I've had one for so long. It was just nice to have another one. Um, significant upgrades with the buckle. Um, as you can see, uh, you'll see two little set screws in the buckle um, that after you clasp it together against the belt, which I'll show in a moment, um, you get two little set screws that kind of make it so that it doesn't move or adjust on its own, which I've never had an issue with. Um, let me know in the comments below if you've had issues with, you know, the, the teeth that clasp into the belt. Here, let me see if I can kind of get a little bit of a... Yeah, so you can see those teeth ever so slightly biting into the leather. And I think that may be, I mean, as you can see, I'm kind of pulling up on it and those teeth are coming out. So I think that's probably why they did those set screws because they were probably having some issues with that. And honestly, I never had a problem with it, but if they have been getting enough complaints, it probably warranted uh, something like that. But yeah, this belt buckle is definitely a cool one. I really do like it. Um, it's kind of got that honeycomb look to it. Uh, you can see that there but honeycomb look with the core logo. I don't know if you can see that, but sorry, I'm trying my best here. Um, yeah, so you've kind of got that and very sturdy. Um, I'm not sure what it's made out of, but it seems a little bit more sturdy than this, even though this is probably some sort of aluminum. Um, this is probably something similar, a little more sturdy though. Uh, but I'm not gonna get into those types of, of tech specs at all. But still, same same engagement here. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Um, and then the same little button that you press to pull it apart. Simple as that. One issue that I actually found with this belt, and there aren't many. Um, you know, I'm, I'm trying to give a very um, unbiased review. Um, yeah, Core Essentials sent these belts out or this belt out, but uh, I'm not getting paid or anything like that by them. So just keep that in mind that, you know, I've, I honestly really enjoy these belts um, and I think they're a great solution for everyday carry. But with this tactical belt, I did find a little bit of a flaw that, depending on who you ask, maybe something negligible that you know, you just won't worry about. But when the belt came, it was kind of curled up in a box and it had a little elastic band that held this down because as you can see, it pops up. And that goes for this goes the same way when you put it on, this kind of sticks out a little bit. And I think the band kind of held that on there. And I don't know if there's a way to potentially like maybe put some Velcro on on the end here, on the on the actual tapered portion of the belt. Um, so that when you put the belt on, you can just kind of engage that Velcro instead of a band. Cause I lost the band, to be honest, I hung it up one day and I re didn't realize that, oh, gravity is going to pull the band down cause it's not secured by anything. Um, the band fell off and somewhere in my closet and missing and whatever part of the house just as a suggestion, you know, I would really love for some sort of Velcro piece or kind of a Velcro track. You know, I don't know if that's even appealing. <laughs> um, there's gotta be some solution other than a, a, a band. It's nothing super serious. So just something I, I noticed. 
Another nice accessory that you can actually get from Core is the Trackline belt hangers. Um, super nifty little hanger here. Uh, if, you, if you notice, it has the same track line on the actual hanger itself. And that allows for those, that little tooth that I you know, kind of showed you before to engage if you put it the right way on the belt. Um, and or you can just put them both on there and then you can hang this up in your closet. Um, really cool. Um, the only issue is that they kind of curl out and it's, you need to have a lot of space in your closet for this to, you know, be nicely hung, but they're going to curl out because they're belts. But I think it's a great solution. And like I was saying, I, this, these belts have almost murdered me as I stepped on them in the dark. Um, and so, I don't know, nice little touch. And it, this one I purchased myself. Um, and they're fairly inexpensive, especially if you're buying multiple belts. I think they do some sort of deal. So keep that in mind uh, as you want to keep these organized. If you want to keep these organized, if you want to hang them up, uh, might be something to look into. So really quick, I'm going to show you how to resize this belt. Uh, you know, a lot of us we tend to grow, we tend to shrink. It's no big deal. Um, so I'm gonna show you just how to resize it. Uh, in my case, I'm gonna go down a size just for the sake of showing you. Um, my belt, you know, initially I made it a lot bigger. When I first got it, I think it comes, like it can go up to like 50 something inches. I can't remember. There's a range you can actually uh, choose when you check out. Um, you know, as you can see, there's little numbers on the belt here. Um, you can see, you know, you see 30, 33, 34, 35, so on and so forth. Um, so, you know, there's a range and you, I believe they instruct you to cut the belt a few sizes larger than what you actually wear. So that way, you know, if you're wrong as to your waist size, you're not having to buy another one. So be very cautious, be very, take your time doing it be very, you know, there's no rush to, to resize this belt. So really quick, I have uh, an Allen set, uh, an Allen wrench here that I have of my own. They actually send you one to resize these set screws. So don't be freaked out. They send you one. I'm just, I just choose to use my own. So to take it off, you just unscrew the little screws here. You can either take them out or leave them just enough so they don't fall out. And then after you loosen these screws, there is a little uh, symbol right here, the core symbol. You just pull that up here and it undoes the little teeth that were in the belt. And then you can just slide that right off. As you can see, my cutting skills aren't super great, but it doesn't matter. Do it as straight as you can. You can use a knife, some scissors. In my case, I'm going to use a knife. So when you're doing this, be very careful. Um, I'm just doing it like this because this is all I have. I don't actually have scissors near me at the moment, so I'm using a knife. Um, so I'm just gonna take this down from 38 to a 37 here. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna find, there's a little dots, so there's the numbers, as you can see there, three, seven, and then you have little dots that kind of guide you in a straight line. So I'm just gonna cut kind of like that without cutting my desk. That would, that would be awesome if I cut my desk, but kind of like that. So as you can see, I uh, cut my piece off there. It's not super perfect, it doesn't need to be perfect. Um, it's not even straight, but it should fit just fine into the track line because the, the teeth actually don't, are pretty far from the edge there. So just as long as you push it all the way in and then you flip, the little latch upward and then you kind of hold that belt forward so that it's up against the buckle and then you push this down until you hear it click and then you take your allen wrench and then you just tighten those screws fairly tight you know hand tight so that you don't strip the screws um, so yeah pretty simple
nothing nothing too uh, too crazy about that. I really hope you guys gained something out of this video. If these belts in any way are appealing to you, um, go to their website, search what you what you can customize. There are a lot of options. Um, great great belts. Uh, I've like I said I've been running these for the one for two years and another one for a couple months and I have had no issues except for that one um, little elastic band issue. But that's you, you may not have that issue like I did. Definitely not a reason to not purchase these. If you have any questions or comments, concerns, or anything like that, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. Uh, I'll go ahead and answer those as quickly as I can. And if you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. Um, also, there is an applaud button on some Android phones. If you feel so inclined and if you feel like I deserve it, um, go ahead and use that button down below. It really helps out the channel. And like I said, it all goes back for reviews like this one. That's gonna be all for today. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.